I've spent a lot of today since um, I said that, yes, I'm happy to take part in this matter of public importance, to try and figure out why this actually is a matter of public importance deserving of the time of the Senate today. Why are we talking about such a local topic in the federal parliament? I spent six years in local government on Maribyrnong Council, and this issue, if you are concerned about the actions of local government, take it up with your council officers, take it up with your councillors. But why are we debating it here in the Senate today? Then I found that locals have described Operation 513 as a fundamentalist, young earth creationist, oddly non-denominational bunch of kids who preach intolerance, anti-science, bigotry and hate speech. And of course, that fell into place because what better way to describe One Nation? And it's no coincidence that the group is homophobic because it sums up the debate about marriage equality. We've got the majority of people in this country. We had an opinion poll that came out today that showed that even in the 12 most conservative electorates in the country, a majority of people want marriage equality. They want the per pe all Australians to be able to marry the person they love. And they you know, want, want all Australians to be able to marry the person that they want to spend the rest of their lives with the majority of Australians. And then you've got the evangelists. No, not the average everyday churchgoers, because we know that not just the majority of Australians, not just the majority of people in the 12 conservative electorates of government MPs, but the majority of Australian Christians support marriage equality. But there is a vocal minority who are making life hell for the rest of us who are trying to loudly impose their antiquated views to anyone who will listen and to many who will not. So it's not surprising that people get fed up with that. It's not surprising that people see them as a public nuisance. There are public nuisances trying to loudly impose their views, views that are only held by a very small minority of Australians who are trying to impose that on us.